Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. Well, it's October and that can only mean one thing. Pumpkin! It is pumpkin season. So whether you're taking pumpkin like this and baking it yourself and turning it into puree, or if you do like I do most of the time and just use the pure 100% pumpkin out of a can. Either way, I got some recipes today that I've used over the last couple years to help me lose more than 240 pounds, and I'd like to show them to you today. So for our pumpkin spice yogurt, the first thing we're wanting to do is literally add the pumpkin to the yogurt and get it stirred in good. You wanna make sure you get that pumpkin really in there good. And you'll notice the color change in the yogurt. It'll go to a lighter orange. To it, we're gonna add our pumpkin spice some chopped pecans and some pepitas. Get that stirred in really good. And then what I like to do next, this doesn't have to be done, but I don't like eating out of these metal mixing bowls. So I like to transfer it to a regular bowl before I finish it off and eat it. But again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just prefer to. So once I've got it transferred over, it's a tablespoon of maple syrup that goes on top and then those crushed graham crackers add a nice topping to this. So it's literally that easy to make an amazing pumpkin spice bowl of yogurt. And now I know you can buy those already pre-made kinds out there, but a lot of those things come with a lot of stuff that I really don't want to be eating. I know exactly what's in this. This only has 302 calories for this, but a whopping almost 36 grams of protein. I'll put the numbers up right there for you. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of crunch from those pecans as well as those pepitas. And then that graham cracker on top there mixed with that maple syrup. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna enjoy this for breakfast and I'll come back and show you something else. So the next thing I wanna show you is my pumpkin spiced baked oats. If you're not a fan of the overnight oats because they're cold, this is exactly what you want. So let's get that started. First thing we're wanting to do is get that oven on at 375 degrees. So let's mix all the wet ingredients. We got some Fairlife 2% milk here, two room temperature eggs, make sure the room temperature makes it easier to mix up, two tablespoons of melted butter, some maple syrup, and then a little bit of vanilla. Make sure you get it all in there. And we wanna get that mixed up, get those yolks broke. Mixed up really good before we go ahead and put in the pumpkin. And then we'll wanna stir it all in, make sure it's mixed really good again. Once you got that mixed up really good, it's time to put the dry ingredients together. So we'll do another bowl, we're gonna put our oats. Add to that the pumpkin pie spice mix. And I almost forgot baking powder. Don't forget the baking powder. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you got your baking powder in there. And then I'm gonna to toss in my protein powder. Now I'm using Orgain Vanilla. It is a plant-based protein mix. I like it. You can use whatever you want, but that's what I prefer. Give it a really good stir, and then we're gonna wanna add it to the wet ingredients and get that mixed in really good. Those oats will have a tendency to clump up on you, so just make sure you're taking your time to get it good and stirred up. Once you've got it mixed in good, you'll know it'll look like a good batter, almost a cake batter mix. We're gonna wanna take a nine by nine dish, but I didn't have one, so I'm using a nine by 13. Hit some Pam to it, olive oil, whatever you're using, and then just pour it right on in. Get all of that goodness in there. You don't wanna leave any of it behind. And then what I like to do, just before I put it in the oven, is I take those pecans, it's about a quarter cup of pecans, and I just toss them on randomly on top. This way you get one to two per slice, and you'll see that once we cut it up. Into the oven it goes, and we're gonna to wanna to cook this at that 375 we set it for, for 40 minutes. Once it comes out, this is what we got. Oh my goodness, this house smells amazing. You should smell this. Oh, if you love pumpkin pie and you love oatmeal, you're going to love this dish. So before I serve it, what I like to do is I like to get a little bit more of that maple syrup out and just drizzle just a little bit more on top of it. Maybe about a half a tablespoon's worth. That's it, doesn't take much, but this is absolutely fantastic. So the best part about making this is that I can take one more serving, put it in the fridge, you know, for later on in the week. Then I can take the other six squares, freeze them, and have them ready to go, quick and easy breakfast, somewhere down the line. 
Sounds good to me. You know me, I love quick and easy, and this makes it very quick and easy. But I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna just let this thing sit here in front of me. I am going to give this a try because I know it's amazing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's almost, almost like a cake. So good, moist. Oh, those flavors come through. You've got that maple syrup. You've got the pumpkin pie spice. This is fantastic. You gotta make it and I really hope you do. But now let's move on to some overnight oats. These are so easy to make. You literally just have to throw everything into a jar, something with a lid preferably. So as you can see, I put in the oats, followed that up with the pumpkin pie spice, and then I put in the protein powder. Now we'll go in with the wet ingredients. We got some pumpkin here, a little bit of maple syrup, and then our milk. And then it's just, like I said, as easy as mixing it up. Get a good stir on it. It will thicken up as you mix it. It looks good. And then you just put a lid on it and toss it into the fridge. So that's it. It's that easy. Overnight oats are amazing. Um, if you don't like cold oats, I get it. That's why I also showed you the baked oats that I do. But I really like these because all you got to do is mix it up like I did. Put a lid on it, toss it in the fridge. And I like to actually make two at a time. They stay good for about 10 days usually. I don't think I've ever let it go longer than that. But I'll put them in the fridge and then when I get up some morning and I just don't feel like cooking over the next week or so, grab one and enjoy it because it's that simple for something good. It's got a little bit more higher calories than I would care for the amount of protein that's in it. I'll show you all that over here. Um, but it's still a good option to have something that's very flavorful something that's quick and easy to make. And I mean, this time of year, you just simply can't go wrong with pumpkin spiced overnight oats. Now let's jump into some pumpkin spice protein waffles. I just love waffles. It takes me back to when I was a kid. So let me show you how I make these. First, we want to put the liquid in. So we've got the milk and then the eggs. And then we're going to want to break up those yolks. So let's get them broke up and just mixed in good. And then in goes the pumpkin. Get it stirred around good. Kind of like we did with the other recipe just make sure you get it mixed in really good and then we'll put in our dry ingredients the baking powder the pumpkin pie spice your protein powder of choice again i'm using orgain vanilla it's really good i like it so that's why i use it and then last but not least the flour i'm using king arthur bread flour makes them a little bit chewier but also has a little higher protein level so you want to get that mixed up if you have to add a little bit of water to get it to the consistency you like, go right ahead. You know what a good batter looks like. As you can see right here, that's exactly what I want. And the next step, of course, is to cook it. So I've got an old waffle iron here. It's probably about 22 years or so old, but it still works great. So I hit it with a little bit of Pam, and then I like to add right about a cup of the batter right in the middle. Because what that does is when it cooks, it doesn't go all the way to the end, but it forms a circle and looks really good on a plate. Once this is done cooking, I'll show you that. So once they're ready, just open it up. And oh my goodness, that smell. Oh, it smells so amazing. I love pumpkin spice. And these are perfect. Now look how it looks on this plate. I wish I could eat that whole thing. But let's check out what I'm going to have right here. Oh my goodness, just look at that. Food porn at its best, I tell you right there. I love waffles, as I said. These are no exception. All right, so pumpkin waffles, these things are amazing. Two of them is a serving size. It comes in at about 260 calories and a whopping 16 grams of protein and they are packed with flavor. If you like pumpkin spice, you're gonna absolutely love these. Of course, I put on some no salt butter with a little bit of sugar-free syrup. Yeah, this is good stuff. Absolutely love these things. I'll show you the full numbers right there for one serving that's without the butter and syrup on it. Much like with the baked oats, I'll take them, freeze them, and then I'll package them into single serve packages, which is two, right, just like this, and I'll put them in the freezer then I can pull them out the day before I want to have some. The next morning, pop them in the toaster and have amazing pumpkin spice protein waffles. All right, so I'm going to go eat my breakfast. I've been waiting on this and my little dog Piper over there, she wants a little bit of it too. She's been faunching at the bit to try to get some as I've been making them. So I'm going to go share just a little bit with her. 
If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, would you please do that for me? I'd appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, help out the algorithm. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video.